today I'm going to show you how to assemble the worm factory. This is one that I have. I use a lot of other methods, but this is one that I have that uh, I should use for showing that example. I'm going to try to put it together as fast as I can just to save the, the filming and it gets boring if I don't. This is what's called the ladder and it goes the first thing you put in. After that goes one of the boxes. These are clean relatively, but I just got done using them and emptied them out. After you put in the box, <coughs> you get five, I think it's five, at least four of these with your worm factory. And you want to lay some newspaper down. And it doesn't matter a piece, two pieces, whatever, but you basically want to cover up the holes on the bottom to keep all the sediment and everything else from going down into the into the ladder. That way you can get actual worm juice out from the bottom. And just lay this newspaper down. And next I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of whoops, I got it over here. Peat moss in or core, whatever you want to call it. I so used to use peat moss. This is a little bit too wet, so I'm going to squeeze it out a little bit. Put it in here. I had that soaking for a good couple of days, so it's very saturated. I've got a whole trash can full of it, and I just shoveled some in here. I'll put this down for the, the initial bed. Last time I did this, it was okay, but I raised mine in 50 gallon drums, but a lot of people, especially people in the city, want something that looks a little bit, a little bit nicer, I can't say that I'm right. I lived in a city atmosphere, I mean, I lived out in the country, and I hope they can see pretty much what you're doing, really. All right. Don't worry about being dirty. Now I'm going to reach in here and get some worms that I had already got earlier. There should be a good system sliding off there. As you see, a good half pound of a pound of worms. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more in there. Like I said, you see, and that little bit of worm dirt ain't going to hurt you none. Spreading them around, leaving them in a pile, it doesn't really matter. There's uh, enough of them in there, they'll find each other. So I guess I'm going to end up with about a pound of them in here. I had went through these earlier and got some of the worm castings out. digest. It runs through the gizzard and it helps them <coughs> materialize their actual food. Here all I've got is some coffee grounds. And I'm just going to lay them in there. I'm not worried about some reason people you read about they want to dig a hole and bury them and this that, and the other. Well I didn't put a whole lot of dirt in there. So what I'm going to do is Put that in there. <coughs> now I'm going to add some more dirt on top. Keeps down some of the flies and smell and everything. Actually, though, I like the smell of, of worm dirt. Not a big problem. It's when it gets rancid, it doesn't smell good. But the smell reminds me of when I was a kid and I was fishing, so it always smells pretty good. Dirt 
to it. And pretty well said. Now you can put shredded paper, newspaper, and cardboard. And, um, they send you pumice, which is small lava rock, and they send uh, oh, what is it? Newspaper shreddings, cardboard shreddings. When you get this kit. And, uh, like I said, I raised mine in a different atmosphere, basically. But what I'm going to do there, now that one right there is already set. Take the top with the instructions on it, as you see. Put it on there. Voila, we're set. A couple more days. I'd say about a week before I had to mess with feed them again.